Here is AC voltage, right? And here you can write B1, here B2, primary coil, secondary coil. You have to do like this. <coughs> that question was already solved in these uh, GPA for large activities. Different. In this way, how will you do this of GPA? Forget it. No chance. Only you can. GPA for nose, nose long. Right. Okay. Uh, now, I think for some days your one period is consumed by other subjects, etc. In this time, we have to do more and more. Okay, Master, are you feeling sleepy or what, boy? He is in the condition of Jhum Barabar, Jhum Sarabi. Like this. They are sitting and eyelids are just touching other, my darling. Huh? Be active. Back one step. Yeah, after school, they become very passive. Start the ground with both legs. Focus is zero, you. Okay, now here is the presentation from uh, new. I think that chapter is completed, right? Yes. Which chapter is completed? ICD also completed. Numerical problems all done? Means questions are all solved? Okay, if so, let's call here the children who are going to present. Uh, who is going to? Sobhat Morgan? Okay, you are talking. At first, uh, which group turn? Then? Individual. Okay, first question. Sonis. Sonis Gurung. Okay, please welcome him on the stage. What is he going to present? Sonis. Sonis. Presented by the which one? This slide. Oh, yes. Exercise of this one from you. Yes. This one? Okay, everybody. You can take out your rough copy. And if you feel important, then you write down. And why are you doing that? Ready? Yes, <laughs> Okay. What is what is it? It is not. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm saying student. Today I'm here to present about information communication technology MCQs. <clears throat> Which number one? What type of information is referred to as a digital data? Yeah. What a long slide. Right? Again, you can describe this slide and discrete this uh, the discrete is a type of information referred to as a digital data. Oh answer like that. Very good. Okay, next. That is right. Give a big hour class. Another. <clears throat> what is a digital footprint? A collection of uh, data from someone online activity that can be tracked back to them. Second, a list of websites where a person has gone online. Third, tracking someone's physical location. And fourth, all the ways all the ways to people are connected online. So yeah. The so the answer of the digital footprint is a list of a list of websites where a person has gone online. Right. Mm -hmm. Give a
next one. What is the question number three? What is the best way of keeping personal information safe online? <laughs> number one, make uh, social media public. Two, turn off location tra tracking on all apps. Third, share pers personal information over direct message only. Fourth, go to second and third number. So the answer is over the fourth. Uh, the, fu the first is turn off the location, location tracking on all devices. And, and the third one is share personal information over direct messages only. Can I <laughs> Question number four. When someone pretends to be when someone pretends to be you by using your personal information, then it it is related to first digital footprint, second is uh, loca location tracking, third is identity theft, and fourth is phishing. So the answer of this question is identity theft. When someone pretends to be you. Huh? Your personal information. And which of the following is an example of analog to analog conversation? First, radio. Second is television. And third is optical fiber internet. And fourth is video. So the answer of this question, the following is an example of an analog to analog conversation is radio. Radio, right? Okay, MCQ. Now let me check the activity whether he has done or not. Uh, we can open here. Actually, what is the topic? Information, communication, and uh, right now, I will check here. Sometimes students they don't do their work and then they pretend as if they have already completed, but here it's not possible. Eh? Yes, hold on. Are you sure? Yes, Confirm? Yes, okay, that's good. Give a big round of applause. <laughs> Work was very, very uh, effective and also effective also less also right. No need to more. MCU, MCQ. Always MCQ here. And uh, now I think question number three. Differentiate between, right? Between which one? Simrez Mahatma. When Simrez comes, he brings a new and new style of slide. So right, I don't know what is he going to do. Going to do so Namaskar everyone. So I am going to discuss about the ICD chapters difference between. So number one is digital signals and analog signals. So a digital signal is a discrete signal that represents data in binary form zeros and one. And analog signal is a continuous signal that represents physical measurement. Second one, that digital signal have a finite set of possible values, and analog signal have an infinite number of possible values. An example of these digital signals from the data, digital audio, such as MP3 files and digital videos are represented as digital signals and of analog signals, sound waves, light waves, uh, radio waves, etc. Yes. So they need to copy. So bits and bytes. Right? So, second one is bits and bytes. A big yeah, yeah. and smallest unit of data in computing and can have a value of either 0 or 1. It represents a single binary state. The next one is bytes. A byte is a group of 8 bits. It is a standard unit of data used to represent a single character like letter or numbers, symbols. Second one is a bit equals to a single binary value 0 or 1, a byte equals to 8 bits. Commonly, this is used to measure data transfer rates like internet speeds, which is used often in uh, megabytes per seconds or Mbps. So, it is used to measure uh, file sizes, storage capacities, and memories. 
like kilobytes, megabytes, and gigabytes. So that is next one: digital well-being and digital security. So digital well-being refers to the impact of digital technology on personals, overall mental, physical, and emotional health. And digital security refers to the protections of digital information devices system from unauthorized access, attacks, theft, and damage. So second point is it involves managing how digital devices and services affect our quality of life, including our time span of online social interactions and mental health. It involves safeguarding personal data, preventing cyber threats, and ensuring the confidentiality. And third point is digital well-being focuses on maintaining a healthy relationship with technology and managing its impact on overall well-being. Second one is here. Digital security focuses on protecting digital assets, information, privacy from cyber threats and unauthorized access. Would you like to more details on this? So, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. So, this is a technology. This is a technique, eh? So, what do they do after presenting? They keep their email also. So that if you have got any queries, you can send to them and they will reply or do something yes or no that's great give a big round of applause for uh, your lovely friend in this morning so mcq mcq discuss differentiate between discuss now uh, whose duty whose duty um sasank acharya please welcome him on the stage after sasank who is there please everyone today i'm here to discuss about the Short question answer. You can make a big deal about that. Yes. What is digital signal? Name many two devices which use digital signals in our daily life. Daily life. A digital signal is a signal that represents data as a sequence of discrete values. Any two devices which use digital signals in our daily life are Smartphone and keyboard. What do you understand by the transmission of signals? Signal transmission conveys process information from one instrument to another when controlling industrial processes. As process industries have evolved, a variety of transmission signals have been used in many different applications. Why geo-stationary satellites are launched in the parking orbit? Geo-stationary satellites are launched <coughs> in the parking orbit because it requires an impractically large amount of fuel to launch a spacecraft directly into such an orbit instead of instead the craft is placed with an upper stage in an inclined parking orbit. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, this time, this one, this one, this one, right? Okay. Saurabh, okay, please. Saurabh, you come here. After Saurabh, who is there? Who? Sapan. After Sapan? Or Lonis? And after Lonis? Nirajan. After Nirajan? Oh, but Nirajan is a heavy one. Right? Last question. Did you get lucky? Whatever <laughs> 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 Okay. Define uplink and downlink frequency in signal transmission. The communication between Earth station transmitter to our satellite is known as uplink frequency. Okay. The communication between satellite to our Earth station receiver is known as downlink frequency. What is online reputation? An online reputation or e-reputation is the reputation of a company, person, product, service or any other element on the internet and digital platform. Yes. This one. Are you two Yes. Thank you. 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 Th
थैंक यू थैंक यू सौराज as you know it's someone bought it from great ten and i'm going to ex- and my presentation work is long question answer question number 1 explain the explain the process of converting digital into a digital signal by line coding the process of converting the digital data into digital signal is called as line coding which help the receiver to get the original bits bytes the data the data that is in the form of text number audio or video is represented internally video video <laughs> video is represented internally as series of 1 second and 0 seconds line line coding um, line coding there for transformers is a set of bits in, into a digital signals and write down the meaning of netizens mention any three responsibilities of good netizens any three responsibilities of good netizens what is that upper one upper one is there write down the meaning of netizens it has you i wala you are you a on answer kada no no sir i have in written form from book then we the meaning of netizens So internet is there. Means most people who use in engaging in internet. They are they are in internet, not internet. And things they want to come. Money, money, money. Okay, sir. Why is it doing upper, upper, upper? No, I was starting that it is down person or not. Three, three responsibilities. Three responsibilities of good netizens are think of privacy. do not disclose the privacy of other on social media once you post it it become public and difficult to remove from social media second point avoid cyber bullying on on netizens should not be involved in cyber bullying and cyber crimes third point be careful of what you say don't don't be rude and arrogant on social media your comments many your comments hamper may hamper and other which remains forever So, hence, be polite interacting with your friend, relatives, and followers on social media. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dear Abhishek, your question also completed. Now it's time. Okay, Lani Sacharya. Lani Sacharya, please come. How many? Very highest number, yeah. सो नमस्कार एवरीवन माय नेम इज लर्निंग साधारे टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन आंसर of chapter 13 information and communication technology ICT long question answer what is digital uh, well being how do the internet and the virtual world affect the physical social and emotional health of netizens the condition of having a balanced online and offline life and being in good mental physical social and emotional health is called digital well being Uh, this uh, this has been attributed to internet addiction which has been uh, correlated related with uh, high levels of anxiety attention distress um, hyperactive uh, disorder depression poor time management and impulsiveness 
मल्टीमिडिया क्लासरूम इज वन अफ द इसेंशियल पार्ट्स अफ टीचिंग लर्निंग एक्टिविटीज गिव देर ओपिनियंस एबाउट दिस स्टेटमेंट मल्टीमिडिया क्लासरूम इंटरग्रेट्स वेरियस फॉर्म्स अफ मीडिया सर्च एस टेक्स इमेज भिडियोज ऑडियो एंड इंटरक्टिव एलिमेंट्स अफ इंटेन द लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस अफ फर स्टूडेंट्स इंगेजमेंट एंड इंटरक्टिव इंटरक्टिविटी मल्टीमिडिया मेक्स लेसन मोर इंगेजिंग एंड इंटरक्टिव फर स्टूडेंट्स कैटेरिंग टू डिफरेंट लर्निंग लर्निंग स्टाइल स्टूडेंट्स हैव स्टूडेंट्स हैव डिफरेंट लर्निंग स्टाइल्स एंड मल्टीमिडिया क्लासरूम अकोमोडेट दिस डिफरेंस इनकरेजिंग इनकरेजिंग क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग मल्टीमिडिया इनकरेज स्टूडेंट टू थिंक क्रिटिकली एंड एनालाइज इन्फॉर्मेशन इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम वेरियस पर्सपेक्टिव डिफाइंड ऑडियो भिजुअल मेटेरियल राइट डाउन एनी फाइव कैरेक्टर्स अफ ऑडियो भिजुअल मेटेरियल्स एंड एक्सप्लेन एनी वन अफ दिन ऑडियो भिजुअल मेटेरियल्स इज एनी फॉर्म अफ मीडिया और कंटेन्ट दैट यूटिलाइज ऑडिटर एंड भिजुअल इन एलिमेंट्स टू कन to con TV convey information ideas or stories any five characters of audio visual materials are uh, they they should be meaningful and purposeful purposeful uh, they should be ac- accurate in every uh, ever every uh, respect uh, this will be simple this will be uh, cheap as far as possible as far as possible they should be uh, improved uh uh this will be simple uh simplicity can help in easy simplicity uh can help in easy operation operation it also helps to perform a uh, tax according to the according according to an individuals di- desire and simple way thank you thank you thank you very much now it's for you The last presentator for today. Are you going to do the voice in the party? Namaskar everyone, it's me Nidhi Azam. Today I am here to present uh, on the dialogue. Can you hear your lovely sound? Yes. Oh, uh, Questions are right or paragraph about cyberbullying. Cyberbullying affects the mental health. Just have this statement. Punishment for cyberbullying. Cyberbullying, a uh, modern thing. Cyberbullying is a form of harassment that occurs online. It can in, in, involve spreading numerous you rumors. Can the one of uh, rumors, one posting. Yeah. Posting embarrassment photos. or video sending threatening messages or excluding someone from online groups uh, cyber bullying's effect on mental health anxiety or cyber bullying can trigger anxiety and fear as victims worry about what others may say or do online second there is depression the constant exposure to negative vitty and rejection can lead to feelings of sadness hopelessness and worthlessness contributing to depression for suicidal uh, thoughts in, in serious cases cyberbullying can lead to su- uh, suicidal thoughts uh, and behaviors as victim feel overwhelmed and dispirit low self esteem victims may start to doubt their self worth and feel isolated leading to a decrease in confidence and self esteem government in activities against cyber bullying education and awareness schools and communities to educate students and adults about cyber bullying it effects and ways to prevent it uh, distribution and enforcement uh, governments can pass laws that scientifically address address cyber bullying making it illegal and for uh, punishable with strict in Enforcement measures, cyber bullying, cyber security measures, 
enhancing uh, cyber uh, security measures and working with tech companies to develop tools and strategies to detect and remove cyberbullying content. Last is punishment for cyberbullying. Types of uh, type of offenses, possible post punishment, harassment, fines, community service, prevention, defamation, lawsuits, restraining orders, threats of violence, jail time, uh, uh, criminal charge. This is thank you. This is that uh, rocket style. So, this I, was that in one way. He just typed in that camera and some important. So, I just. Gamma. 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 So, I, Gamma. Gamma. So, I, Gamma. I, I just. Like this, this, is, this is what this is. This is this. I, I what this is this. I put this is just look at here. Your question is like this. Just see the question. How many questions were given there? Here are five questions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, start in the picture and write paragraph about your cyberbullying. Yeah, right. Wait, this paragraph. Let me check. Paragraph about cyberbullying. Okay, let me see. Wait, 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 the paragraph. Cyberbullying, modern threat from where it came in. You have to write only sort of cyberbullying. From where it came modern threat, number one. Number six, it's already handy. Cyberbullying affects mental health to justify. So, where is it? Cyberbullying. Men uh, just by who is it? Impact on mental health, anxiety, depression. This is okay. Number second. Number three. What can government do to stop the cyberbullying? Where the answer? This one. Now. This one. After this one. Where? This one. Government initiative, education awareness, legislation. Which you have write sentence. Number four. Do you think there should be a punishment for cyberbullying? Where the answer? Punishment for Where is it? Down. Where? But well, there should be, there should be like this. Okay. And number five, make PowerPoint presentation about cyberbullying and present it. With it. That is very I presented all. Your gamma, your ama, I'll be doing boy. These people, they, they are very lazy. Huh? Just type one heading in a para 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 para. But but you you haven't done in PowerPoint. So I did PowerPoint. Is this PowerPoint? Yes. Sir. So it is PowerPoint. Yes. Sir. Where? This is not PowerPoint. This is, this is Google slide. No, yes, sir. Right. This is where? Where? No. I will, I will see. But, but you made from Gamma. Why Gamma? Huh? Gamma. Okay, go. Now, this chapter also completed. I think your um, exercise is not completed, right? Now you will be completing. I will just show you the slides and how fast it is possible write down, okay? On the store not? just it has gone a bit fast. I will show serially. Serially means the which come first. I, do, I don't know, but while writing in rough copy, write down right, right now. Later on, you can write in your fair copy correctly. Take out rough copy, everybody. Take out. This is the now it's better to stop it.